Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing some of the new Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez makeup, um, her beauty line. I am really, really excited for it. Um, if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you will realize that I have false eyelashes on, which I normally do not. But she did not come up with an eye come out with an eyeshadow palette, so I just did something, you know, just different. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead and get into this. Let me pull my hair back here. And so real quick, um, I know that there has been a lot of other YouTubers that have gotten a lot of scrutiny for their reviews. I only have 55 subscribers, but I do want to give you guys the most honest review that I can give you. Um, I know that there's a lot of controversy on, you know, people saying that she made the round design specifically specifically for people with lupus and arthritis, that has been confirmed that is not true. Although, if that, you know, were the case and it does help people with that, then I think that that is great. So before we get started, I'm just going to read what she put our mission on her website. We are on a mission to help everyone celebrate their individuality and refining what, what beauty, what beautiful means. We want to provoke Per, we want to promote self-acceptance and give people the tools they need to feel less alone in the world. I think that's great. Our vision is to create safe, welcoming space in the beauty and beyond that supports mental well-being across age, gender, identity, sexual orientation, race, culture, background, physical, or mental ability, and perspective. We believe in beauty of imperfections. We are nurturing and caring, respectful community. We create meaningful connections and relationships. We campaign authenticity and positivity. We lead with transparency and build trust. We believe that there is power being vulnerable. Empower and being vulnerable. Okay. I can read, I promise. Okay. So, um, again, like I said, there's been a lot of controversy over all of, um, you know, all of, all over whether or not, you know, people are explaining, you know, what her mission is. I'm here to review the makeup. Um, I hope that I give you guys a little bit of insight on it. I know sometimes, sometimes not always bigger YouTubers, you know, they get some PR or whatever the case may be, and they're under a bigger microscope. So this is just such as Patrick Starr, that whole situation, Raw Beauty Christie, Smoky Glow, which I love all of them. But I'm just saying that I'm just going to keep everything in mind. I don't have everything from the product, um, but I did buy what I was personally interested in, what I knew I was going to use. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So she did have a priming spray and a, um, a luminizing uh, primer. I did not get either one of those, but I do have the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer by L'Oreal. Looks like this. And I think that this will do the exact same thing. Hers was a very loomy primer, and it looked identical to this right here. I hope you guys can see that. My lighting, I promise I will get a new ring light. So I'm just going to put this on from what I saw from other reviews. Um, this primer looked identical. So it gives you a nice loomy finish to it. I don't usually wear primers. Um, I do a lot of skincare before my makeup because I have very dry um, to combination skin. So I usually just prime with my skincare before um, and skip the primer, but for this sake, we'll go ahead and do it. So it pains me to say that I have 33, uh, 330 in, okay? So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it is quite a bit darker, um, you know, than what I am. I'm normally tan. Um, but as far as I saw everybody else's reviews, everybody else was having a pretty hard time with the shade range. There are 42 colors, which is very include. I think that that is great. 42 colors for your first launch, for your first brand. That is really amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and use it because my nearest Sephora, um, away from me is, is pretty far. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this on like I normally would. By the way, if you do get this, shake it up. You can hear a little ball in there. I already did, but just shake it up real well here. And I'm going to put this on. It's very, very, very liquidy. So just keep that in mind. 
This is supposed to be a medium coverage. So this is what I was most excited about because I have watched um, a couple reviews and one person says, oh, it's great coverage. And then the next person's like, it's not enough coverage. So I have very, um, Selena Gomez has lupus and I don't know if anybody knows that, but she does. And so I would have assumed she would have came out with something, you know, a little more front coverage or something that would hide her redness. Now I have redness on my face as most of you know. So I was interested to see. I'm sure you guys can see me in the mirror. So the first thing that I notice is it is not a matte foundation. It is like skin like but it is very very I don't know if it's coming up on camera but it is very very luminous if you are oily 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 I don't know how this would work on your skin I'm going to be completely honest unless you put a matte primer underneath then maybe but this is a really pretty foundation and you know what I'm not mad at the color I'm really not wow you guys this looks really nice and when I hear people say like skin like finish, I'm like, nope, can't use it. I got to have a little bit more coverage. I've got red on my face. This would even be really good for mature skin. I mean, it is just really soaking in really nicely. Let's try to build it up just a little bit more. I don't want to put too much. I'm going to put just a little bit more just on my cheeks here where I have the most, oh, this is so pretty, where I have the most red. And trust me, if I did not like it, I'd be honest with y'all because like I said, there's nobody going to sit here and put me, you know, on the middle of drama YouTube pages and, you know, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow. That is such a pretty, again, um, I don't know if it is the primer or the foundation. I'll have to use it again without primer in an upcoming video, but my face is... It is really like glowy. I hope it's coming up on camera. It's beautiful, you guys. It is really nice. My sister, Molly, would absolutely love this foundation. Ah, she'd love it. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to use is I got the concealer. Again, it's just got this flat ball. I got 250W, so let me shake this up really well also. And I, this is an odd applicator. Okay, so it's very, very pointed. I guess probably that slant is to get real good in the corners here, which is where I would put it and down under here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just blend that in with my finger. So I think that the, let me go ahead and use my beauty sponge. I think that the colors in the bottle are a little bit deceiving, you guys, because I thought that this was going to be too dark also, and it's just really not. Okay, so coverage for the concealer, I would say, is probably pretty sheer. I'm going to see if we can build it up here and see what we think, but I can still see it got the darkness in here, but I can still see darkness underneath here. So, but again, some people don't like like heavy, heavy concealer, but let me go ahead and let me give one more. Let me see here. I bet you if I let it sit for a minute, that's a trick by the way. If you guys let your concealer sit for just a minute and then blend it out, it has a minute to kind of like obviously sit there. Um, my camera only runs for 12 minutes at a time, which drives me absolutely bonkers. I'm going to kind of just highlight my forehead and down my nose. Okay, that is a really pretty concealer. I'm loving my base right now. I'm loving it. I really am. If I wasn't, I'd tell you guys. Like, I, <laughs> I really am loving it. It looks so good. It looks good. Okay, so... I will be right back. I'm going to put a little bit of the Fenty bronzer. She didn't come out with a bronzer and honey glaze. 
and I will be right back to go on with the next product. See, I am back. Let's get it going. So this is the product that I'm most nervous about. Um, this is her blush. She had four different shades, maybe. I picked um, the one, oh, in the concealer also she had 42 different shades, which is awesome. I picked the color Love, which is like a deep terracotta red because I thought for fall there were very, very pink colors. I mean, she's got a good range, but I picked this one, which looks like this. I know. Okay. So I know from people's reviews that these are hella pigmented. So let's not make the mistake of making a mess because that's exactly what I'll do. So I'm going to, we can, it's hard to take off, but we can put on more. So let's just keep that in mind, Megan. Let's just keep that in mind. Okay. I am going to put just like, actually, I'm just going to start out with a dot. I'm just going to start out with a dot. And I'm going to take my beauty blender. I've seen some people use their fingers. I'm just going to take my beauty blender. I'm sorry, it's the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. I call it that. I shouldn't. It's the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. And if you know me, you know that I absolutely love it. All right. So it is pigmented and it is very, very pretty. Wow. Again, this may not be your color, but I just thought it would be really, really pretty for fall and winter. That is very pretty. Those are very pigmented. This is going to last, this bottle is going to last me for ages. I may pick up another color, maybe at like Christmas time or ask for it for Christmas. Right now, I, unless something like completely awes me, I'm not going to be buying much more makeup. I'm just going to use what I have and I've got my boxy charm and stuff because, I mean, Christmas is coming up. I've got two kids. You know what I mean? That is beautiful, you guys. I'm just going to put a little bit on top of my nose just to give it maybe like a little sun kiss effect. I really like that. Wow. I could probably add a little bit more, but I am i don't think I'm going to. I think that looks really nice. I really like that a lot. Okay. Next thing that we have is she came out with, I believe, I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. I believe there was four highlights. Um, I came, I, it's liquid by the way. Um, I got mesmerized, and again, the component looks like this with the little ball. It's going to get so dirty so fast, but that's okay. So these I heard were sheer, but very pigmented, and I got like a, it's the pink. There was like a rose gold, and I mean, they were really pretty. So I just got the pink. I thought it would look all right. So I, now these I heard weren't as pigmented as the, as the blushes, so I'm going to cut, and I like a highlight highlight, and Robert Welsh said that these look like your, like, they melt into your skin, so I'm down for that. So let's go ahead. They layer very nicely on top of, on top of the blush. Those are, that is really pretty. Oh, so pretty. Let's put a little bit on the nose and see here. I don't usually put like a whole, whole lot of um, highlight on my nose normally, but for the sake of the video, we're going to. That's really pretty. These are such pretty products, you guys. I'm so happy with them. If you're gonna spend your money and you wanna try out stuff from here, you guys, I, I'm really, I'm impressed. I mean, I just really am. Okay. So everything so far, I'm loving. I hope she comes up with an eyeshadow palette. As I said, I just wasn't going to buy any more eyeshadow palettes. Okay. So I've got two more products here. I'm not going to set my face with powder. Normally I would set my face, but I'm not going to um, just because I'm not going anywhere. I'm still off of work from having surgery, so I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to end up taking it off anyway. So the next product I have is um, the Brow Harmony, and I got it in Cool Brown. And it looks like this. And this packaging, <laughs> I hate it. That's going to get so dirty, but it's very well, it's um, weighted. One side is a brown gel, a uh, brow gel. It's like this. And the other side is a pencil. 
I hope I got the right color. I got cool brown. Again, I hate shopping online for stuff, but it is a triangular shape. I don't know how you had it. It's a teardrop shape. It's not pointed. Normally I like pointed, but I'm not that picky with my brow products because I was not one of those people that like plucked my eyebrows to no end. So let's go ahead. Let's first see. It's kind of rough. It's not that smooth. I'll be honest. Okay. Let's see what I think here. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I take that back. It is very smoothing. Now, if you have very thin eyebrows, I don't know how you're going to really like it because, like I said, it's a teardrop shape. The, this is very, very pigmented. This is in cool brown, again, like I said. Um, and it almost reminds me of a taupe. And if you don't know, a taupe color is a universal color that normally works with everybody's skin or eyebrow color except for African American. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on that, on that, you know. But this is nice. Everybody said they didn't really like it. I love it. It's going on super smooth. My favorite is the Maybelline um, from the drugstore is the Maybelline Ultra Brow. And then from the high end is um, uh, Urban Decay. It's the one that has, it's actually right here, the Brow Wiz of two. I love this. Okay. So the brows are filled. What does Manny and you say? Back in the brows are filled. Back in the brows are filled. I love when he does that. Okay. So I'm going to use a brow gel, but it doesn't have a spoolie. I know that was some of people, some people's like qualms about it. So I love it. If you have really, really, really no eyebrows at all, again, I'm not 100% sure how you're going to like it because it doesn't have a very fine tip on it. But if you've got pretty good eyebrows, you guys, I really like that. I'm loving everything. Thank goodness, because this stuff was expensive. Okay, so I'm going to try the brow gel. It's not goopy. And the spoolie, the spoolie is not too, too small, which I like a small smoothie. That's uh, smoothie. You yeah, know, I like small smoothies. All right. Um, spoolie. I've been liking to like wax my eyebrows like up with the um, Patrick Ta eyebrow gel or eyebrow wax. I've been loving that lately, like the laminated look. All right, well, in the pinned comments, also I'll let you guys know how this makeup wears. I'm gonna, I'll I'll keep you guys posted. It's a very wet formula, just to let you know. But these are some bold brows for cool brown. Let me just tell you, was that cool brown? Yeah, it was cool brown. Okay, the last product that I have is a lip. Again, I think she came out with four lips. I got Selena's favorite, and it is an Inspire. It looks like this. It is a bright red. I don't have a bright red lip liner. I'll have to get one. I used to have one by NYX and I thought that I had it. And then I thought also that this one by Beauty Vault would work, but this is a more of a dark red. So let me go ahead and let's apply it. I do know from the other reviews that I've seen from people, they're like, oh, I wish I had a lip liner with it. Well, I will just have to get a lip liner, but I thought for fall, I wasn't going to get this because this looks hella pink. Oh, I hope not. Um, because for fall, I figured red, but they had really pretty colors. And this is a matte, by the way. This is a matte formula. Matte velvet. Okay, so this is pink-ish. I don't know. I thought it would be red. Wow, that's really soft. For a semi, what? This feels really good, you guys. I was gonna say for a matte, it's not very drying. Okay, let's see if I can build it up one more time here because it's not very red. There we go. So if you want it red, red, add yourself another layer. I love it. That feels really nice. If that dries down, it feels really good. Okay, that is it. This is Selena Gomez's line. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed. I love everything that I have tried on. If you guys have any questions, I, you know, message me, email me, let me know. I'm sure Selena Gomez will never see this video, but if she does, girl, I'm excited. If you come out with anything else, I will be purchasing it. You guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.